Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Welcome or welcome back to more of Pokemon Crystal and our continuing challenge run where I am not allowed to use any Pokemon that have evolutions. And it's uh it's been a whole thing. But we finally have not only a whole team, but an effective and fairly varied team. We've got our Lapras, which is water and ice. We have our Heracross, which is fighting and bug. We have our... Damn, what's it called? Shuckle, there we go. <laughs> Can you tell I've never played Gen 2? Our Shuckle, which is rock and bug. <laughs> we have our mill tank, which is normal type. We have our unknown, which is psychic. And we have our Corsola, which is water and rock. We have a few others in the box as well, but these are the ones we're using at the moment. And what are we going to do with them, you may ask? Well, first things first. There are some things that uh, we did not really do here in Goldenrod City. I did not fully explore it. I got, uh, I got distracted, let's say, by the main quest. So we did visit the radio station a little bit. But right now... It is still all intact. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, this guy here has not taken it over yet. <laughs> I'd have to remember its name before I could do that. But uh, yeah, so we've been to the bike shop. I think I briefly went down underground, but I feel like there was more I could be doing, maybe? This is a house. And then we've got to go to Olivine City. Right, this is the name raider. Here we go. Is this the one we went down? So I think there were a couple. Okay, so this is where we were. Doors locked. Why? Why can't I use my bike here? There was a shop that we didn't really need anything from. So that may be it. That may be everything. Yeah, this is Bill's house, or his family's house at least. So, okay, well then, we may be done with Goldenrod, and if that's the case, then our next stop is we've got to head back north to a critique city. Through the National Park. And we dealt with everything there for the most part. We stuck our noses in the towers, although we have not, of course, uh, completed everything that they probably have to to do. I want to stop in, I think it's the Burned Tower on the way, because if I remember correctly, and I may be wrong, feel free to remind me if I was wrong, but uh, I think that there was a rock that we could not move at the time, because we did not have strength or rock smash. So let's see, this is this way. You're not going to let me around, are you? I'll just have to go through. That's fine. We need to level up a little bit anyway. Hmm. And we can surf now, for what it's worth. Which is a lot because Surf is a really good move. Hey, there we go. That's a great way to start a stream. The only thing better than y'all's company is a level on our Lapras. Okay, let's see. This is... Here's the Burned Tower. Full of ghosty goos. I think it was on this side? Yeah, here we go. This rock looks breakable. Do I want to use Rock Smash? Yeah, always. 
me see. I have the item finder and I've not been using it. He isn't responding. Huh. Well. I wonder what that's for then. Probably has something to do with this, but I can't interact with it. Weird. Well... Okay, and of course I went round that way, and now we can get back down through here. Hmm. Oh, are we talking about Shuckle held the record for damage? That is impressive. I assume that that's some kind of, uh... TM20, okay. Probably some kind of combo with things uh, like how our mill tank has defense curl and rollout. Something that's based on defense, because I know Shuckle has extremely high defense. So if you have an attack that's based off of defense power, then Shuckle would probably be the one to put it on. I mean, I know that Shuckle is, like, very heavily defense-based, so unless we're using something like Bide, um, if y'all have a suggestion, feel free to share. Okay, let's see here. TM20, which is... Endure. Doesn't seem super useful. At the moment, anyway. I know that there's a strat that uses Endure, but... Because y'all mentioned that once before, I think, of you, some way that, like, a Rattata could one-shot anything in the game. Okay, so here we are on Route 38. Now, we have kind of put our toes over the line into Route 39, but we did not seriously explore it. So that's where we're headed this time. Olivine City's on the other side of that, of course, and uh, the gym leader in Olivine is in the lighthouse. So we've got to figure that out. Hey, there's a berry. Awesome. Uh, do we have anyone who's... Well, we have lots of people who aren't holding anything. Um, let's have you hang on to that, then. And actually, since you don't have anything either... There we go. Kenwood City. Okay, so that's where we're going to get flight. Right, speak of the devil, and it will try to gnaw your ankles off. Radicate's usually fairly fast, I think, so that our, our Lapras going first is, uh, is great. Although, I think she may have the Quick Claw on, so that helps. But it's okay, we need to do a little bit of level grinding anyhow. Moo Moo Farms Milk is famous for its flavor. Always give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time I can share some if you want. Oh! Dane has a number. Cool. I love when someone gives me their phone number and I don't even have to ask. came this way. Yeah, I... It's supposed to be some kind of, like, a slime mold Pokemon, I think. Okay, it's, Here's Route 39, so this is where we haven't really been. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Don't let your attack power go right and checks your HP can't cash. Oh, thank you, good. <laughs> yeah, I said carry me carry, specifically, like the Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show song. Okay, Slowpoke. 
does in fact have the water type, so we maybe won't use Surf. Maybe. Exactly, you get it. One down. That's a decent amount. Slowpoke. Yeah, let's see what else we can use. Um, we still don't have a grass type. Let's let's see. Ooh, it's level twenty. Okay, let's see what Skirt State can do. Slap wrist. <laughs> yes. Okay, if it's mostly going to use physical attacks, then... We might be safe here. Oh, oh. I said the wrong thing. Ooh. It's okay, that's, that's not terrible. And we have a berry, so... Oh, are you kidding me? You had one job. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is not going to work because she missed that first time. Oof. And now I can't even stop because rollout just kind of keeps going, so. That's all right, though. It cursed itself, so. Oh, well, that was it. I thought if we hit it another time, maybe. Yeah, we eating good tonight. Okay, well, I tried something and it didn't work. No harm done. I didn't think the Slowpoke would be level 20, because the last one I think was 17. I thought they'd be a little closer in level. You stop that. There we go, that's what Body Slam's supposed to do. Goodbye. Nice. Your Pokemon have potential, yeah, well. Uh, potentially kick your ass if you mess with me again. Moo Moo Farm. Enjoy our fresh and tasty milk. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, a mint berry. Have I had one of those? Voss is Das. Mint berry. Oh, okay. Cancel sleeping. Fair. Moo indeed. Well, I mean, we knew. We knew canonically people were drinking milk tank milk, but... My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if I feed it lots of berries, I reckon. I... Yes, you do have to feed them. Our milk even goes out to Kanto, so if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. Hmm. Okay. Oh, because <laughs> it's in mint condition. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of berries. Well, I have lots of berries. Hello? Its cry is weak. Give a berry to Miltank, sure. Wait, I... I've got loads of berries. Oh, I see. Specifically, just regular old berries. Things like paralyzed berries are not gonna... They're not gonna count. That's fine.
A Pikachu! And immediately responds with a water type. That's fine. Well... It's probably fine. I don't mind losing. Hmm. Pikachu is it, don't you agree? Now, I think Pikachu's kind of overhyped, actually. I'm gonna be honest with you. My Pokemon were cut and raised overseas. They are my companions on those long voyages. Hmm. Trainer tips, use headbutt on trees. Yes. That's how we got our eye palm that we don't use and our hair across that we love. <laughs> I hope it gets dark soon. Okay, so again, um, you know, I don't know the Pokedex for this gen, so y'all will have to help me. I know there are at least a few other non-legendary Pokemon that we qualify to use, like Misdreavus and Murkrow, and I believe that most of those are in Kanto, not here in Johto. Um, but you'll have to let me know if I'm about to miss something because of, like, the time or something. This is Olivine City, there's the gym. Jasmine, the gym leader, is at the lighthouse. So is this a rock type gym? Let's see, that's very straightforward, but there are no... I was wondering if maybe I could defeat her subordinate trainers while she wasn't here and then I'll have to deal with them later, but... How are things? Land the big one? Oh, right, right, that's the guy that gave us the good rod. Because we did briefly come here before. Steel type, ah. Okay, let's see. We have some Great Balls, Super Potions, Hyper Potions, Super Repel. God, I could use a few of those. Let's see. Poke Center, let's stop there. Let's wake Skirt Stake up. Sailor in the Olivine Cafe next door is really generous. Yes, right. That's where we got strength. Him bragging about his rare Pokemon. That's where we get fly. Only during the day. Right, and we actually, that's where we caught our uh, Tauros and Miltank, so we're good on those at least. Talk to all of them. Right, okay, Route 40. We don't necessarily need to go there yet. Although I may do that to level up a little bit. Probably we can't get on a boat at the moment. How many rods do you have? Different rods catch different Pokemon, indeed. Don't want you to fall into the sea so you're not allowed in. Yep, that's what I figured. Shelter are easy to catch here. They're kind of rare elsewhere. Well, we can't catch a shelter, so... Maybe if we put our, like, hot glue our shuckle to the back of our Corsola, that's kind of the same. Dark roads are dangerous at night, but in the pitch black of night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Also known as the Glitter Lighthouse. Is it? Okay, let's head over this way. Because... Oh. Here we go. Okay, so this is Route 40, the Whirl Islands, 41, and Keyenwood City, right, and then we'll have to start going back. So... So we can only go so far this way, but we can see what the uh, trainers are up to. What kind of what level they are. 
Ooh, okay, so we can get a flying type. Oh, right, because I forgot- I love man team, but I always forget that it's flying type. That would be awesome. Our whole team's gonna wind up being water type and something. Keep to Olivine, Olivine by ship. See the sights and suck up the atmosphere. Route 40, right. Can't see it from here, but Kian, what is across the sea? It's a big building up ahead. What is it? I assume that it's the battle tower. I have to go train them now, right. If you win a whole lot, you can win special gifts. Now, I can't remember, is the battle tower online only? I was thinking about, they've had similar, like, gimmicks in other Pokemon games. It's hard to decide which three should go into battle, yeah, especially when your choices are very limited. It might just be a challenge dungeon kind of thing. I'm sure they'll tell us. Ultimate Trainer Challenge. It's probably single player. Let's find out. Battle Tower welcomes you. I could show you to a battle room. Wanna go in? No, tell me about this. It's a facility made for Pokemon battles. A countless Pokemon trainers gather from all over to hold battles in specially designed battle rooms. There are many battle rooms in the Battle Tower. Each room holds seven trainers. Beat them all and win a prize. To interrupt a session, you must save. If not, you won't be able to resume your room challenge. Okay. Skarmory's on 45. Right, okay. I I love Mantine, but we have Lapras. Um, and a flying and water type, as we know from Gyarados, is going to be like quadruple weak to electric. So if I have to pick only one water type, it's probably going to be either Lapras or Quillfish. Um, Corsola's not bad, but I think Lapras is better. And so uh, if we only have to if we have to pick a flying type, I'm probably going to go with Skarmory rather than Mantine as well, since uh, that's more diversity on the team because we also don't have a Steel type. But we got to get a Mantine at least. Just bug Pokemon. Please don't let there be any fire Pokemon. Oh, there's a screen up here. Can we... Oh, I was thinking maybe we could see the lineup. Yeah, delivered. Delivered. Destroyed by the first opponent in no time at all. I'm no good. Yeah, you suck, bro. It's a grueling task not being able to use items in battle. Making your Pokemon hold items is the key. Thank you for that tip. Okay, huh. It seems like that's kind of where we're at now. Like, a lot of things are going to be later on because, um... Some of the stuff like Murkrow and Misdreavus are going to be all the way in Johto. You have to warm up before going in the water. That's basic. Yeah, I got to do those stretches. So yeah, we may wind up using Mantine as our flyer until we get Skarmory. I think, other than that and Murkrow, those might be the only flying types we can use. And Delibird. Ooh, nice. First try. Okay, now, see, Jasmine's got Steel-type Pokemon. Steel is weak to... Fire, I think, and ground? And it's strong against poison. Confuse Ray, ooh. Hmm. Fire, fighting, and ground. Fighting's the one I never remember because it doesn't make any sense. Right, yeah. Like, I don't think Delibird can learn fly. I for What does Mist do? So it raises evasion rate, maybe? Yes? Uh, 
I think, prevents your stats from being lowered. Okay. So that's very... That's very specific. Um... We're not going to get stabbed with Confuse Ray. But it would be useful to have another special attack that's not water type, at least until we get ice. Some Until we get something ice-based. You know, I just realized, I don't know if Lapras can learn Ice Punch. I could have bought that back in Gold Rod. I'm not sure if that'd be a good idea. So I think I'm going to get rid of Mist. About to use Tentacle. I know. This is Ghost, anyway. Oh, right, because Confuse Ray doesn't... I was thinking of Confusion. Confuse Ray doesn't deal damage, does it? It just inflicts Confusion. Okay, that's still not bad, though. I would rather be able to inflict Confusion, probably, than protect my stats from being lowered, because that's very, like, specific. So that's probably that's still better than mist, because you're right. It a stab only matters on damage. Okay, so she can't get ice punch. No big deal then. Uncle. Oh, oh, it's Alan. Yes, Tangle is getting stronger. Wild Growlithe escaped on you. Okay, well, it can't be that much stronger. I did not see Ice Beam at the department store, but I know that the inventory changes as you go through the game because, like, we couldn't originally learn uh, Rock Smash either. So. So, Ice Beam may be available there later. And also, that's one of those where I don't remember for sure, but I'd be kind of surprised if uh, Lapras didn't learn Ice Beam from leveling up. Okay, that's, see, that's what I thought. Anything over here? No, okay. Doodly doodly doop doop. I love the little bobbing animation, it's so cute. Such a cute sprite. Tentacle, the Rattata of the Sea. Yeah, because Surf is just such a good water type move anyway. There's an Ice Beam TM at the Moo Moo farm? What? 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 Actually, I need to go up here anyway. What's in here? Looking for this Pokemon. If you have Krabby, would you trade it? No. I'm not allowed to catch a Krabby. And I wouldn't trade it for your Voltorb if I did. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Uh... Along the way to Kianwood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. Oh, okay, I see. Like with a ghost story. I thought we were dealing with something a little worse. Okay. So only in gold and silver, not in crystal. Uh, again. Once again... Things have changed just a little bit between versions. That's fine. Not a bad idea to stop by the Pokemon Center anyway, so. Yeah, I don't remember if they introduced natures secretly in this one, like, you know, a kind nature or mischievous nature and things like that. Um, I know that there are some hidden abilities but I don't think natures are a thing yet, so that means that a, a Pokemon is going to have consistent stat growth based on its type. Here we go. So our special attack is higher than our um, physical attack. Speed is her worst stat, but the Quick Claw helps balance that out a little bit, and special defense and special attack are her highest. Uh, but her attack and defense are not nothing. They're pretty decent. But yeah, I definitely want Ice Beam, for sure.
And then, yeah, if she can learn Thunder, that's not a bad one to pull out in a pinch. Because, like, if it hits, that's just a good attack, even if you are not getting stabbed. And then Charge Beam is... that's just normal type, right? I think. It's kind of like Hyper Beam. going to Kianwood? How about a quick battle first? I mean, if you can tread water long enough. Star you. I mean, we know everything out here is going to be water type, so it's funny that we're fighting with a Lapras, but... Yeah, honestly. Let's have a quick battle, and then you just one-shot their Pokémon. Yeah, Thunder does have accuracy issues. There we go. Okay, that's a nice little jump. Special attacks pushing 50 on speed's about to break 40, that's good. Yeah, I don't think Weather is in this one. I think that's the next gen. I think Ruby and Sapphire. I believe. Because I know it's in Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, even if the accuracy is not great, it's nice to have an electric attack on something that's got really high special, like Lapras. Because then, that helps to balance out, like, when you're doing something like this fight right here, where it's Water-type v. Water-type. So it looks like Charge Beam wasn't introduced until later. Okay. Uh, Cast Form, I think, is the weather Pokémon. Oh no. Boo hiss. Boo the shelter. Do not. Ah, oh, damn it. I mean, she's gonna deal way more damage to herself than it can. Don't do it. There we go, thank you. So, so we don't really have, um, we don't have a ground type, and we don't have a fire type, but we do have a fighting type. So it looks like June is actually going to take the lead again on this next dungeon if it's steel. But I want to focus on leveling Lapras up anyway because she is, Carrie is lower level. Nice. <laughs> More of this guy. I'm sick of this guy. Get out of here. Oh, wow. With one hit point. Insult to injury. Perish. It's 
it's effective enough. That's what matters. Hey, you're young and fit. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Oh, what's he got? Three shelters, I bet. We've got three body slams. That's one for each of you. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. War turtle. Um, yes, actually. Uh, rock and bug. It's actually this way they won't have an advantage on each other. A very sheltered existence. <laughs> uh, let's do Fury Cutter. Yep, because I know it's going to use Withdraw, so... Now I am the master. See what we got. Shelter. Nah. Boom, baby. Yay, Fury Cutter when it's not aimed at us. Yay. Uh-oh, I lost. Yeah, you did. You got your butt kicked. What's this gonna be? Who's that Pokemon? It's tentacle. All right, level 24. Good. Okay, defense is about to break 50. Nice. I like that. I think we've got a pretty good Lapras, y'all. But it's out of body slams, so let's let's do this. So that's the next Pokemon that we need to level up. Is fighting weak to poison? I can never remember. I think so. No, Bug is weak against poison. It doesn't matter for June, though. <laughs> Couple more of these, and she'll level up. No hugs. Be gone. Let's see. Let me actually... I bought a bunch of repels. Let me use one. I thought I did. Did I get past them? Did I use them all? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll use one of these. Because I'm kind of exploring, so... I'd rather focus on trainer battles. Oh god. <laughs> that would be awful. Just 
throw your hair across over to the side and just blah, 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 blah. Swimmer Kaylee. Send out Golding. Well... Rock Smash. Oh yeah, because that's flying time. Ah! Think of that, yeah, it's because Heracross is like quadruple weak to flying. Oof. Nice. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's let's use something else. Um, it's about level twenty. Let's try. Let's give Skirt Steak another chance. Immediately. Confusion! No. Don't do it. Damn you. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. That's something. Okay, let's let's try this. Come on. Don't do it. Damn you. Oh my god. Okay, well, you had your chance. <laughs> uh, back to Lapras. How do you like it? Yeah. Oh, of course it doesn't care. That makes sense. We need an electric, a fire, and a grass type, like, so bad. Some of those I don't even know if we are going to be able to get. Should have opened with Confuse Ray. Yes. Yes, good. Yeah, I've got to get her up to milk drink. That's the big one. Is that how you do it? No, that's not how you do it, but that is how we done did it. Anything else up here? Nothing? Okay. A 
which one is it? It's Route 41. Ah, here we go. Okay. Let's immediately pop in here. Please heal my Pokemon. Gym leader uses fighting type. Okay. If you don't move them correctly, you won't reach the gym leader. Fair enough. I love showing off Pokemon that I've raised, don't you? You do you. Did you meet the Pokemaniac? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. Does he have a rare Pokemon he can give me? 500 years? What's up? Need some medicine? I mean... I mean, wow. I think we have some revives. This guy looks shady, right? Like, it's not just me. Cross the sea to get here? That must have been hard. And eh, much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't fly without this city's gym badge. You can be the gym leader here. Come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Oh, is this where we get fly? Last Dana. Uh, Starfish, it's me, Dana. My Psyduck is getting prettier. It's been, I've been taking photos galore. You know what? A wild Magnemite got away from me again. That was so close, really. Just a little bit more and I would have... <sighs> See ya. Calls to tell me about her day, asks nothing about mine, hangs up immediately. Chuck? Chuck the gym leader? Okay. I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Uh, what is your Pokemon? Uh, hmm. It's like a fax machine. Oh, it's a radio. Professor Oak's Pokemon talk. That must be our uh, rival. Do you remember the four islands along the way? I heard a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. Ooh, is it? <laughs> What's up, Chuck? Heard the whirlpools around the islands are caused by the sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. Oh, is this where they invented dive in addition to surf? I heard that you can only see it if you have a silver wing. It must have the same scent as the creature. So we have to dive underneath. Now that is a description of the city, yes. Boulders to the north of town can be crushed. They may be hiding something. Your Pokemon could use Rock Smash to break them. Yes. Yes, yeah, she could. <laughs> What's this? Photo studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. Aw. You have magnificent Pokemon with you. How about a photo for a souvenir? Big smile. Which Pokemon should I photograph? Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it's gotta be... It's gotta be Goat, right? That's our first Pokemon. All right, hold still for a bit. Okay. That's fine. I can't think of a better photo, actually, to represent this whole run. The Poke Seer. Oh. This rock looks breakable. Smash it. I'm gonna wreck it. Oh, hey, it's Shuckle. What do you know? 
Well... Okay, I mean, if you want another Rock Smash, you will get another Rock Smash. We can do this all day. Army helmet. Actually, I guess we can switch back now. Because we're on land. And that would be a little bit, uh, a little bit better balance against a shekel or something. Immediately it's a water Pokemon, of course. That's fine. Yeah, that's so fine. Nice. Last one. Absolutely. Smash it! Nothing. Okay. Ooh. Hello. More rocks. Don't mind if I do. Any over here? Hello? Hello? Um... That looks like Suicune. Okay, um... Let's just save this. Okay, real quick, what are you doing in here? I see all. I know all. Certainly I know of your Pokemon. Okay, uh... I see you met Carrie at Union Cave. The time was morning, its level was 20. Am I gonna watch? Incidentally, it'd be wise to raise your Pokemon with a little more care. I... what? Excuse you? She's gonna say the same thing about Juno. Azalea Town at night, level 10. Seems to have grown a little. Seems to be becoming more confident. Okay, so I guess she just kind of gives us insight into what the Pokemon's current friendship level is. Yeah, just hanging out. No big deal. Suicune's just over here, like, eating a sandwich in the corner, and we just come up kicking rocks, and it's like, uh... Hi? Can I help you? Just don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll leave. Um, okay, I have nine great balls. All right. Who's going in first? Um, Lapras is water type, and so we'll take less damage from a lot of Suicune's attacks. And also, Carry is pretty tough, but she won't be able to do a lot of damage. But she also can confuse it and put it to sleep, which will help us catch it and paralyze it too. So that may actually be the best thing. I guess it depends on what level Suicune is. 
because Juno is our highest level Pokemon, but uh, like Carrie's not that far behind. I may be getting ahead of myself. I may go talk to it and it'll just leave. Yep. Hey, it's you, Zane. Yo, Starfish! Wasn't that sweet, couldn't you just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suikun running on the waves. It's beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suikun up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suikun's respect! I... What? Come on, let's battle now! That doesn't make any sense, bro. On the other hand, I just remembered we do absolutely get um, an, uh, an electric and a fire type because that's Raikou and, and Entei, <laughs> so there you go. Mystical man you've seen wants to battle, does he? Sent out Drowsy, okay. Well, let's just start with this before it does the same thing to us. Good, excellent, yes. It's probably going to have a higher special defense than physical defense, but Surf is also just really powerful. And our special attack is higher, so... Uh-oh. Slip. Slip. We are slip. Oh, okay, well. I knew better. Alright, fine. Dang it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Does it? Get wrecked. Oh my god. Get him, skirt steak. Your foe is weak. You can do it. We've softened him up for you. Hey, she got one. Bubble Beam. Oh, okay. Maybe? Oh! Oh, clicked too fast. It was like, ah! Uh, let's see. Strength, Harden, Surf, and Recover. Actually, since it's already got Surf, we probably don't need Bubble Beam, do we? Because it's not as good. So, yeah. Haunter. Will I change Pokemon? No, actually. Because you know what? Uh, Rollout is in fact Rock-type. Oh, thank you for helping. Oh no! Everything he's got. Everything will put you to sleep. Okay, well. Sending a theme with this guy. Oh no, we can't escape. What will we do? What, in fact, will we do? guy. Uh, I don't... Can Haunter learn Dream Eater? Maybe. I don't know. What have you got? Constrict, Withdraw, Wrap, and Encore. Hmm...
Oh, right, right. Okay, we actually can't change. Because of mean look. It's nothing. I was not expecting this, but... Hey! All right! <laughs> Electrode. Okay. Um... Yeah, uncomfy, right? Hypnosis followed by lick. Mm. Because Bug is weak to rock, I guess. That's why. Okay. Right, well... Don't do anything. Oof. There we go. Hey! Fuck you. I hate to admit it, but you win. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. How correct of you to notice. <laughs> no wonder Pokemon gravitate to you. I get it now. I'm gonna keep searching for Suiku. Sure, we'll see each other again. Uh, so we have two rivals now, I guess. I mean, I'm fine with that, but... Because we know that uh, some guy was already here. Okay, the gym. Let's put June in front. Because fighting type is what we want. I should have known it was too early in the story to... Uh to get Suikun, you know, or any legendary, really. Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. No, but your bones will be. Alright, Ryu. Now, why did I put this fighting type in here, like this? Why did I do that? I think I was thinking of the steel type gym. Here, let's, let's do this. It's time once more for Goat to shine. Get in. 
super effective but didn't really do anything, huh? That's a shame. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, if that's going to be the case... Here. She's got really good physical defense. Let's just... If that's how it's going to be... Oh, damn! Why was that... So, so effective. What in the world? Whoa! Why was that super effective? Is Ice weak to fighting? What in the world? I did not remember that. Why would Ice be weak to fighting? That's dumb as hell. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's just stick with what we know, I guess. Ice weak to fighting. Man, why didn't I know that? I use... Well, I guess I don't. I, was gonna say, I like ice Pokemon, but I rarely use, like, a lot of them on a team. Karate Chop does not break Ice Cube, though. Like, that's dumb as hell. Ice is just a cold rock. No, a cold rock is a cold rock. Ice is cold water. Of course, Hitmonchan, yeah. As expected. Okay. Uh, that's fighting type. That won't really do anything, so... I know why I don't know that. Oh, that's water and rock. That won't work. That's normal. That's bug and rock. Damn, okay. I'm kind of screwed for this dungeon. Uh, well, if that's the case, then let me just do this. Let's just heal. So my favorite ice type that I use the most often is Articuno. And Articuno is ice and flying. And flying is strong against fighting. So it evens out. Oh my god, of course. Oh, it is not. Come on, one more. Only three that time, okay. That should be it then. There we go. Damn. Yeah, get out of here. Damn, we need a flying type. I am so sorry, Carrie. So I thought I'd get in there with Surf and just wipe the floor with him, but nope. Exactly, it even has one in the name. It is, in fact, number one. Okay, um...
that psychic attack didn't really do much. But let's give it a try. So we only need to get through maybe one more? Two more, okay. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Actually, I'm going to let my giant eyeball do the talking. Black belt knob. Oh, that's a little guy. Now, see, that's more like it. The other one just must have had high special defense. I'm less worried now. Of course, keeping in mind that Chuck's Pokemon will probably be stronger. But that's okay. Son, we need to talk about the kind of Pokemon you've been catching. Elaborate. <laughs> this one's just a straight up man. It's a good thing we're faster. Okay. Oh, nothing to say, huh? Okay. Looks like one more guy. Do they still do this thing in Gen 2? No. Okay. Doesn't have, like, the names of people who have gotten the gym badge. Okay, let's heal Goat. Excuse me, gents. Yes. Skirt stake used strength. I've played too much Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. You can't fool me with such a simple block pushing puzzle. My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon. I don't think so. It's very rubbery and looks like it would bounce. Oh, Mankey, of course. Credit where it's due, it's not very effective, but it still did, you know, 11 damage. I could take the Quick Claw off of Carry and give it to Goat, I suppose. It's probably wise. Hey, nice. Cool. Looks good, I like that. Nope. Let's, let's keep up with what's working. His third one's probably going to be a primate, isn't it? Got this. Hang in there, goat. I'll use a potion if I have to. That might actually be the way to go. Do I have a super potion? I think I do. 
Yes, there we go. We use that while it's within the effective range. Oh! A miss! Well! <laughs> Goodbye. Nice. Last guy. Okay. Since the Pokemon Center is so close, there's no reason to use another potion. I can heal for free. So let's do that, and I'm going to do as I said. Give the quick claw here to goat. That ought to help a little bit. Because if it can get the first hit in, then it might not take a hit. Hope to see you again. Here we go. Ha <laughs> So you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Yeah. Wow. There. Scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Uh, scared now, are you? No. Leader Chuck wants to battle with his primate. We are evenly matched, but I shall be the victor. I guess if your whole team is going to be fighting type Pokemon, Leer and stuff like that is actually not a bad move to have. Of course. Of fucking course. Okay. You know what? Absolutely intolerable. Yeah, yeah. Get back in there. Not this time. Get out of here. Okay, Polyrath. I will not change Pokemon. What I will do is... I don't want to use a Hyper Potion, I'll use a Super Potion. Surf. It's just gonna throw us a curveball by using a non-fighting attack. Hmm. Quick. That's all right. Fine. Hmm. 
Oh my god, June. You can't. What in the world? That would have been a freebie, probably. There we go. Damn. Missing like that twice in a row. Come on now. June, my lady, you can't. You're really just going to use nothing but surf, huh? You've only got so many of those. I know this because I have used it myself. Mm. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but there we go. We'll lower that defense. Dynamic punch, huh? Of course. Well, that's fun. God, we've got to get a flying type. Getting sick of this animation. You stop that. It's all you can do. Do I have an awakening? I remember using the only one that I had, but did I buy more? Maybe I did. If I didn't, I should have. You ever wonder why, like, when you put an enemy to sleep or confuse it, like, it's only asleep for, like, one turn, or it doesn't hurt itself in its confusion, that kind of thing, but then when they do it to you, it's like, ha ha! You shall cut off your own arm with every attack. I do have a full heal, I guess. Yes, the surfering will continue. I hate to burn a full heal on that, but that's what they're for. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. This is hysterical. I know you can't have many of those left. I haven't been counting, but like... You only get 15 of them. Oh no. We're not doing that again.
You talk about a one-trick pony, my gosh. Okay. Alright, I get it. What a slog. You know, each of those does successively more damage. Ideally. Of course it did. Of course it used Surf. What else would it do? It's a Thursday, and you are a terrible polyrath. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful day in the village. And you are a terrible polyrath. Oh my god, June, come on, hun. Woke up and is confused. Of course, of course, of course. What else would happen? What else would happen? That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. Get wrecked by an eyeball. No. Oh my god. Hey, that's right. That's right. Because this unknown is the goat. Fuck you. Fuck you, give me that badge. Oh, huh, I lost. How about that? You're worthy of the storm badge. That's damn right. God, that was an expensive fight. All Pokemon to level 70 will obey. Good. We can use Fly when we're not in battle. TM01. <laughs> it's Dynamic Punch. Yeah, whatever. It's been real. Oh, you. You cross the sea to get here, etc. That's Kian Wood's gym badge. Then you should take this HM. Yes, I should. Fly instantly to anywhere. Thank goodness. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. Oh, this is Chuck's wife. This is Mrs. Chuck. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. What? Did she just fat shame her husband to a child? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Whew. All the money we won from him is immediately going to go into replenishing our uh, our stocks here. Okay. I used all of our potions of every kind. We have one revive left. Okay. Let's get a couple of these. Full heals. Let's buy five of those, because that way it doesn't matter what else we cover, or what else we um what else we have. Let's buy five of those. Five of those. Let's see, do you Okay, we can't sell to him. I was gonna sell like our burn heals and stuff, because if we're gonna have if we have full heals, then there's no reason to have anything else, because that cures, like, sleep and confusion and everything, so. Okay. Well, that is progress. 
Now, of course, the only problem is... Uh, we definitely do not have anyone who can learn this. <laughs> Surprising nobody. Okay. Um... in the correct pocket. There we go. Alright, now, um, map. Okay, so we can't go to the islands yet. Because we need dive or whatever it is, I'm guessing. Plus we have to have that, what was it called, a silver feather? I'm sorry, wait a minute. Oh, does this go back over to Goldenrod, maybe? The Rattatas of the Sea! this tentacle. Do not hurt yourself. Oh my god. Girl. That's better. Such a slog. I'm going to turn around and go right back. I need to use a repel. Aha! Hi there. Ironically, Carrie is kind of our, like, best asset here. She was doing way better than June against these tentacles earlier, so... Nice! Don't. Yes, good. Yes. Underleveling is rele relative. You're not underleveled if you win the fight. <laughs> that means you were the correct level. Fine. Then that's how we'll do it. Swap these two. There we go. Okay. 
Man, my kingdom for a grass type, I swear. Oh, no, no, no. This. At night, star you gather near the water's surface. That's great information to have if you can catch them. But we can't do that, so... Horsey. Looking at each other like, same palette? Same palette! Actually, that's not true. Lapras has got like more of a peachy color and the horsey is more yellow. Hey! Nice, nice. I will not change Pokemon. Love it. You love to see it. Here, since you Pokemon seem to love this animation so much, enjoy. It's not very effective. Pokemon explodes. It's effective enough. Oh dear. So we're just going kind of around. If you need to rest, just tread water. You'll get your wind back so you can keep on going strong. Imagine if there was like a tread water button where you could just kind of float for a second and heal all your Pokemon. I've always loved how in the, um, in the show, Staryu and Starmie, uh, their cry was not, like, their name. It was just like, hi -ya! Ya! <laughs> Okay. And I mean, I guess I get it. Like, you don't want to talk about where their mouth is or whatever, so... Right, because um, Tangrowth was not added until, like, way later, right? Like, Gen 5 or 6? So they mentioned Tangela several times, but I didn't know if we had access to them. If that's the case, actually, as much as Tangela's not really my favorite Pokemon, um, that might be an asset. I'm tired. If I win, lend me your Pokemon. No. Nah, bro. Oh god, he's got six tentacles, doesn't he? Oh. Ugh. Alright, that's fine. We got nine body slams. There's one tentacle. Are they going to be increasingly, like, one level higher each time? There's two tentacle. Nice! Special defense broke 60. Is this one level 18? I kind of hope it is. No, it went back down. Okay, well. Three tentacle. Ooh, a star you. Okay. Variety. This is gonna be like the salt and pepper diner. 
Like there's, like, <laughs> there's five tentacle and then somewhere randomly in the middle there's one star you. Ooh, a crit. Good crit, carry. Back to tentacle, yep. Because it's body slam, I'm imagining Carrie just kind of like breaching like a whale and then just flopping down on this Pokemon. Oh, a Remoraid. That's different. And just crushing it. And this Pokemon just kind of, uh huh, like right beforehand. And But it just keeps doing it, so it's a montage of it cutting back and forth and just wham, wham, splash, splash, thud. And this guy over here treading water like, uh, what have I done? Oh, hello? Are you raising your Pokemon properly? Probably not. Yes. A wild Pidgey escaped yesterday. Okay, so you still suck. Thank you for calling to let us know. Okay, so we know that there are, like, other, um... There are other trainers down there that I did not fight. We can go back for them later, but... You've got me interested now in the possibility of a Tangela. Okay, so you said Route 44, 21, and 28. Now, are you sure? Because we keep finding out Crystal is different from Gold and Silver, which, I mean, that we know. We know it's different. But we keep finding out ways in which it's different. Super Lapel. Some more of those. That's fine. I can't catch that many Pokemon. I just need extra Great Balls so that I can have enough, like, sufficient tries to catch the ones I need to. Okay, so let's see. So that's Route 40, 41. Okay, so here's Route 42, 43, and 44. So that's way over there on the other side of Mahogany Town. We haven't gone that way yet. So 21 and 28, however. Now I'm assuming that's only during the day, probably, since they are plants. But it is daytime, currently. Oh, uh-oh, though. Okay, so routes 21 and 28 are over in Kanto, aren't they? Because this goes... this is 29. So 28 goes over to the east of New Bark Town. Okay, so 44, though. We might be able to get there. I intended to do, um, Olivine this time, and instead I have gone all the way across the ocean and done Kianwood. And now we're bypassing it again to go back to Ecrutique. Hysterical, honestly. the mart. Here we go. Yeah, we did not go this way, so here's Route 42. Mount Mortar. Waterfall Cave inside. Hey! An Ultra Ball. Awesome. Well, that might help with Suikin. Um... I do want to surf. Is there any point in it? Actually, yeah, maybe. Not interested. Oh, it's Suikun again. Speak of the devil. Uh, surely. This is not it. Yeah, fucking bye, bro. Pink Apricorn. I don't know what these do. A green Apricorn. Well, 
and yellow apricorn. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Ine inevitably, it's gonna tell me that, like, I don't have room for other items, and I'll have to throw those apricorns away. Can we bypass all of this cave? Because we'll come back there for story later anyway. So I think, but Route 44 I said was on the other side of Mahogany, wasn't it? Oh, you are a trainer. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokémon I caught. You don't have to. Fisher Tully, is it a Magikarp? Oh, it's a Quillfish! We need one of those. Where did you catch it? So I asked about Quillfish, and I think y'all said I either needed the Super Rod to catch it, or it was like way later in the game, right? Oh, hello. Just casually uploads a physical item to our PC. Yep, 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 okay. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. There are like two other people standing here making eye contact. Oh, you're one of those. Uh-oh. I regret to inform you that you are ground type. Hey, this is gonna level her up. I will not change Pokemon. The first shiny Pokemon I ever saw, I did not catch it because it was in the Safari Zone, and of course we all know how that goes. Uh, was a shiny Nidorina. Out of all the Pokemon it could have been, just randomly, a Nidorina. There we go, look at that. Nice. Should have used my Moonstone. Okay, now where was Skarmory? this route 42 okay good this is mahogany town so we're safe here ish got another gym we can't go in there but that's fine it's not why we're here i stopped my pokemon from evolving too early they do become stronger when they evolve i wouldn't know Team Rocket has come back? I saw some men in black at the Lake of Rage. Ah, Lake of Rage, that's where the shiny Gyarados is. Got, oh, a Moonstone. Thanks, Mom. She, she doesn't, she knows we're into Pokemon, but she doesn't know, like, that we're only into Pokemon that don't have evolutions. So she's trying. <laughs> Route 45, okay. So if we can really push our luck, we might be able to get both, because if I could get a Skarmory, we could just fly back to Olivine. <laughs> we'll have to see, though. I, I don't know. That might be a bit much. While well, visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. Hiya, kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a, a Candy Bar for 300... Uh... If I eat it, will you let me through? Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Absolutely hysterical. 
Lamau, Raffle. Okay, let's try that again. It is just $300. Sure. Good, savor it. I... Okay. I'm not going to eat this and restores Pokemon HP by 20. Okay, here, you're the... You are the least likely to die. I just want past. I don't care about your damn candy bar. Red Gyarados, right. Pokemon music. Ugh. Can I leave? Can I go this way? No. Well, here's Route 43. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, no, it does. Okay, so Route 43 is going to go to the Lake of Rage, and 44 is on the other side. Damn it. What do I have to do to get to Route 44? Bruh. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. I know one thing you can do with your Pokemon. L loose. Oh, no, my son... I'm so sorry for what's about to happen. Farewell. I don't think I need to run from a Zubat. What's next? What else you got? Sand Slash. Ooh. You're a pangolin trouble. Little guy. <laughs> uh. I'll see myself out. <laughs> um. Losing isn't fun at all. Yeah, well. All Pokemon have pros and cons. That's true. Oh. Hello. Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is a thousand dollars to go through. Thank you very much. Excuse. Did you just... Did you just take my money? Haha, <laughs> we're making a bundle. Everyone wants to see what's going on up in the Lake of Rage. <laughs> yeah, we're making a bundle. Alright. Well, I'm here, I guess, and I paid. Hey, a Max Ether. That's probably better than a thousand dollars, maybe. Do I have to fight you? Yeah, I do. Okay. If I go up to the Lake of Rage, what does that trigger? <laughs> that animation! Just kind of look at each other like, oh. Huh? What are you doing back there? I don't know. I wonder if that'll make Team Rocket take over the radio tower. Try harder next time, Ben. 
How could you do this to me? Easily. And with malice. The Lake of Rage. Here we are. Fishing Guru's house. Ooh, can I have a super rod, please? It's actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. You, you could have just said your great great well, anyway. It used to be that you couldn't catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand why you didn't give me a fishing rod. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Gyarados are always angry. They come that way. Like, come on. I heard this lake was made by rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak now. A mass outbreak, like it's an epidemic. Yes, I do. Hello. Can I sail around the edge? Oh, Gyarados appeared. God, they're so... Gyarados are so goofy looking. Well, I definitely don't want to waste my time with you. Goodbye. Now listen. You stop that. There's the red Gyarados. Um, hello. I guess we might as well go ahead and just do this. Level 30, right. Oh no! So, okay, this is back when ice is strong against dragon, right? So... Ish, maybe? Yes? Did they change that in Gen 2? Slumber. Just sleep through this. I don't have to worry about catching it because it's an evolved Pokemon, so I can't use it anyway. Okay, good. Because let's remember, like, Dragon Rage is Dragon type, so I figured that, uh... Oh, well, but it doesn't necessarily have to work both ways. I was thinking it would be less effective against an Ice-type Pokemon, but... Ice being strong against Dragon doesn't mean Dragon is weak against Ice. No, but the move is Dragon-type. So Gyarados himself, I know, is water and flying. Hey! Hey, we got a red scale. I don't know what that's for. Where do I... Where do I get off over there? There's tree sets coming from that way. Let's be from around somewhere else. Aha. I see. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else, so the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're a starfish? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. Oh, he's from the Elite Four. Saw the way you battled earlier. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. Well... 
I mean, when you're using consider as a verb, you can consider anything as much as you want. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. I actually don't know if it's the other way. I don't know if ice is strong against dragon, like, just damage-wise, and then dragon is ineffective against ice on the defensive. I, I don't know. I don't think so, since it didn't say it's not very effective. And I don't think dragon is actively strong against water. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Excellent. Seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you. What the fuck? Bro, did his planet need him? Okay. I, I guess he used fly. Lake hasn't been normal since those men wearing black arrived. Right, okay. Well. Unexpected benefit to, uh, using... I bet it's around this way. To using, um... Pokemon that don't have any evolutions is, uh... Your Pokemon cannot be forced to evolve against your will. Let's see. Here we go. That was Lance. But yeah, I'm assuming he's got, like, that's his, um... Whatchamacallit. Dragonite. There we go. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking. Lance used Fly. Not his Pokemon, just Lance. Does anybody else see that? I asked that before. Doesn't it look like Clefairy is just giving you the finger? It's just flipping you the double bird. Picnic or Tiffany was defeated. Anything down here? Oh, let's just... I do want to surf. Here we go. Is this just a regular berry? It's a bitter berry. Blah. 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 Okay, back on the water. Ha. Have I found the way around? Yes. Yes, good. Aha! I knew at the end of a dead-end hallway like that there would have to be... ...something. This tree can be cut. Any tree can be cut if you try hard and believe in yourself. Let's go left first. Ah, I was a fool. There was an item to the right. Another one. A rare candy. Ooh. Um. Ironically, rare candies aren't really that useful to us. Are they? Like, they're okay, but... You know what? Here, let's... Um... Plus two, that's not bad. I do want to use cut. Uh, let's go this way first. This place is a maze, I love it. Ha! 43. What is that? 43 is detect. 
There's one I'll never use, probably. Back around this way. Good <laughs> little collision bonks. Boom, boom, boom. Whose house is this? You have strayed far. Here I have meditated. Inside me a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokémon. Take this, child. <laughs> Do you see it? It is hidden power! We've come full circle. We came all this way. Oh, uh, just to get hidden power again. Oh my god. That's so funny. Okay. A mace sponsor two corn. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I went that way, so now we're going back down. Okay, well, um... Explored all around the lake. So... Oh! 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 oh. Far-fetched! Uh, we... Mm, ha! Huh. Yes! Yes! I forgot about Farfetch'd. I never use Farfetch'd, but he's flying type. Yes! The one time in my life I have ever been excited to see Farfetch'd. Uh. Oh, God. Um. He's level 16. If I hit him with Bobby Body Slam, he's just gonna die. Let's see. Um. Skirt Steak. No, we have to believe in ourselves. <laughs> of course it woke up. That's fine. That's alright. Uh, let's try this. They're pretty evenly matched, so... Yeah, just throw a rock at him. Okay, stomp. Ooh, okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Carry, get back in there. He sprung a leak. Lol. Y'all are the worst. I love it. Okay. He's got plenty of great balls, so... Get in the ball! Get in the ball! Fuck you! Of course it did. Oh, come on now. There we go. Go back to sleep. Get in the ball. You know you want to be in the ball. I believe in you. Fuck. It's gonna wake up every time, of course. Oh, come on now. Come on. Lol. What a shit show. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. It 
intolerable. Absolutely comical. Oh my god. <laughs> it won't drop anymore, I bet not. Hey, there we go. Okay, come on. Come on. This is ridiculous. Alright, you know what? Here, you little shit. It's my fastball. Me too, I never use Farfetch'd. Oh, fuck off. I did not even think about Farfetch this whole time when we were making list after list of Pokemon I could legally catch. Oh my god, it has two hit points and it's asleep. How is it not getting caught? I am begging you to get in the ball. It's eye palm all over again. I am begging you to get in the ball. Come on. Trying not to use the one Ultra Ball that I have. Because they still don't sell them in Mahogany Town. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuck yes! 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 Good. Wild Duck, yeah, Buck Wild. It is a. L it's a beautiful day by the lake, and you are a terrible duck. In order to prevent their extinction, more people have made an effort to breed these Pokemon. Hmm. What are we going to call this guy? What are we going to call this Farfetch'd? Oh, man. Um. Gave us a real hassle. Farquad? <laughs> Farquad is pretty good. That's, that's really close to what I was thinking. Farquad. Hmm. It's only like two letters off. <laughs> hmm. Memory lapse? Let's see. I think I can do... Let's see... Okay, wait, wait, I can, I can do this. Here we go. How's that? Wow, that actually looks like a Pokemon name. The way that they, like, abbreviate them to, to fit, but then, you know, like, it's a thing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, better one or two. We've got one vote for Farquad and one vote for Memory Lapse. <laughs> I like them both. I don't know, this one, Farquaad is good, but this is too funny, though. I think if y'all don't uh, have an opinion, then I'm, I'm, no one's gonna break the tie, then I'm gonna go with this one. That's very good. To Bill's PC, ah, oh, I can't use it immediately to escape, of course. Of course. Okay, I'm not coming back here, so I know this guy's a trainer. I'm gonna fight this last trainer. Okay. So we have something that can fly now. That's that's awesome. I, that's not how I expected to round out this stream. Um, but that's great. 
because we needed a flying type so bad. Oh my god, a flying type. Farfetch'd would have been so useful in that last gym. I should have come this way first, man. I just didn't even think about it. So, I, I think, a level 10 Gyarados, uh, uh, judge, judges, judges, does someone want to check these numbers, please? But, uh, so I, I think I'm gonna get back down the road here to Mahogany, because we've triggered some Team Rocket plots. Um, and I want to see if we can address that next time. Uh, now Skarmory is less critical now because we've got Farfetch'd, but I still want Skarmory because I think Farf it's probably a better Pokemon overall than Farfetch'd. I don't know their move lists, but Skarmory is Steel-type. So... Um, but Tangela, I still want a Grass-type. For sure. Is this... Okay, here we go. Back around this way. So we still... I want to get through to the other side of Mahogany Town to Route 44 so that we can catch a Tangela. Because that's another Pokemon I had just not really thought of, even though its name had popped up several times. That boy Alan keeps talking about his Tangela, so... Like, I should have... I, I should have known... Some some guy guy made fun of my Pokemon. <laughs> Forgot we didn't fight this guy on the first time, like the first pass. So our rival's been through here aggravating people. Love that for them. So that's going to be our goal next time. We still need to do Olivine City. Still got to go back and do that. Yeah, exactly. Farfetch'd is is mid. Uh, so I'm just happy to have something that is flying type and can use fly, but it will do until we can get Skarmory. We need to catch a Mantine, we need a Tangela. We've got several on the list, and so we will we'll deal with that when we come back next time. But for now, we're going to call it here. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. We're going to heal everything. Uh, we are going to put Britta in storage. And then we are going to get our new lad, Memory Lapse, out and put him on the team. And when we come back next Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S., um... We will be tackling whatever is going on here. She's not holding anything. Okay, good. Whatever's going on here in Mahogany Town. Hopefully Olivine as well. And we will see if we can get back to, uh, or get over to Route 44 and catch a Tangela also. Which might just require, um... Okay, it's got full health. Good. Which may just require, um, like, you know, doing whatever is going on here in Mahogany to clear the way. Yeah, a team of legendaries is completely ethical. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna have so much of, of an easier time doing this because now we can fucking fast travel! We can do it! We can do it. This guy's still not going to let us through, though. Okay, I, I have one. Alright, well, we'll figure that out next time. Like I said, I'll be back on Saturday with more Pokemon Crystal. I am grateful for the privilege of your time tonight. Thank you for playing with me. This has been a good one. I hope that you had fun, and if you're not already following or subscribed here on YouTube over on Patreon, uh, then... I hope that uh, you will stick around. And between now and then, of course, I've got more Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura coming up on Saturday. 
Monday, I will be returning with more Wasteland 2. And then uh, the following Monday after that, Specific Pixel will be rejoining us for the next episode of Baroque as we continue to make laps in that game. And another reminder that that stream on the 29th, uh, we will be streaming. We're not, we don't have any reason to cancel, but because of a thing, uh, we may be starting late. So if we don't start at seven on the dot, then, uh, you know, just keep an eye out for that notification and, uh, and we'll get there. So I will see y'all in the next one. And uh, until then, as always, oh, wow. Thanks for playing. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs>